In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a screen porch in real-time landscaping. There are several different ways of creating a screen porch in the software, but I'm going to show you my favorite method. Go ahead and click on the building tab and then go ahead and create a house. So there's two different things we can do. We can separate the house wall from the roof as two separate objects or we can keep it as one. In this case today, I'm going to keep it as one object. I like to take the wall material and change it into a dark gray to represent the screen. So we're going to go ahead and click on solid color and then select the dark gray. In most cases, I also like to disable the corner trim. Okay, so now we have a house with dark gray walls and a roof. From here, you can add the screen door to the house before converting it into a custom model, but I like doing that afterwards. So go ahead and click on the house, click on the modeling tab, and then select Convert to Custom. Converting an object into a custom model will reduce its functionality, so once you convert this house object into a custom model, it'll no longer act as a house object, so do make sure that you have a duplicate if you don't want to recreate it. We're going to go ahead and click Yes. Now the house is a model and is no longer a house object. With it selected, go ahead and go to the Advanced Options and then select Edit Polygons. We're going to click on the side of the house and then select Same Material. And then we can actually select the shader. I like semi-transparent 25%. And then go ahead and disable edit polygons. Now we have a house that you can see through it like a screen. Now we want to add all our extra details like columns and trim pieces. Go ahead and click on the building tab and click on column. Now you can go ahead and add your columns as desired. For the trim pieces, I like to use the box object under the modeling tab and then go ahead and set the width, length, and height as desired. Set the material to solid color white or whatever color you need for your trim and then adjust the elevation as desired. Now we do have to add a door to the screen porch, but you can't add a door to a custom model. So we're gonna have to add the door to the house object. Go ahead and click on building, click on door, and then select the desired door. Add it to your house, click on the modeling tab, and then click on convert to custom. By doing this, you can actually pull the door from the house and now you can put it wherever you want. Now I don't like seeing the solid door on a screen porch, so we can actually get rid of that as well. Go ahead and zoom in and then get as close as you can to where you see the door. So right now you can see the screen and the door. So I'm gonna select the door, zoom out a little bit, and then we're gonna click select connected. And I'll actually select the entire door and then hit delete. And now we have deleted the door and can see through the screen. Now this trim piece is a little bit of an issue, but you can just adjust that by adjusting the length. And there we go. Some screen porches do have walls, but we can do that as well by just adding like the retaining wall found under the building tab. And adjust the height as needed. And there you go. Now we have created our own custom screen porch. Thanks for watching. For more information about our software or for more tutorials, please go to ideaspectrum.com.